I'm 28 years old, which means I'm at the end of my life. But it has been a full life. Twice I have had a berry, and once even an apple. What more could a man ask for? When I come home from working in the factories, I love nothing more than to see my 14 beautiful children also coming home from the factories. I just don't feel ready for a relationship. Brother, we are young. We have time. time. We have too much time. We are too young for that whole life ahead of us. Gabriel, put water everywhere. Oh, no, 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 no. I get it. I get it. That's smart. That's smart. That way they can have it whenever they get thirsty, whenever they need it. See, that's, that's why you in charge. That's why you in charge. Make it undrinkable. Hey, did you study last night? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. What'd you get? <laughs> 97? How long did you study last night? Uh, eight hours. What'd you get? 42. Uh, hey, God, uh, how do you choose who grows up to like Christmas and who grows up to like Halloween? Actually, it's super simple. Uh, Lucifer, how was your childhood? Oh, it was pretty awful. My family was terrible. My father was never there. And if it was, he kicked me, so. Shut up. And what's your favorite holiday? Oh, absolutely Halloween. Thank you. Uh, Gabriel, how was your childhood? Uh, actually, it was like super great. Me and my family would always get together. We'd go on vacations. It was actually really, really. Shut up. What was your favorite holiday? Definitely Christmas. Oh, so if you had a good childhood, you really like Christmas. If you had a bad childhood, you probably like Halloween. Well, it's not an exact science, but 100% absolutely that's how it works, yeah. DoorDash, no. DoorDash, literally just the most insane thing ever, and I gotta tell you about it. Come here. During football's biggest day of the year, DoorDash is going to DoorDash stuff from all the ads all to one person. That could be you. You see all this? They're adding more. As things pop up during the big event, they will add more to this list. Five cars to one person? That seems selfish, but I would take it. Imagine for me, if you will, a thousand wings show up at your door. You'll make a thousand friends that day. Last year there was a tax agent commercial, so you could maybe have uh, someone do your taxes because 1099s are due. Who, me? Oh, I'm just your official DoorDash Dash respondent, and I will be keeping you up to date on all the things getting added here all the way through kickoff. What's your name? You can stay on top of it yourself by going to this URL here. Let me know what you guys want to see and I'm really, I'm hoping it's Thai milk tea because have you had Thai milk tea? That stuff, it's, it's like, it should be illegal. I'll tell you all about a time I was ghosted and this is in honor of Walmart and Cheetos new Flamin' Hot Smoky Ghost Pepper Puffs. I know this is an ad, but you guys better be nice to me about this story because I swear. So it's one time, I hit up a coworker asking them to go on this very, very elaborate date, right? An exclusive premiere that I had a plus one to with the carpet for photos. There was valet service, free food, and incredible seats, right? Dog, I laid out the whole scene of the event to where like anyone would be like, oh wow, this is an amazing opportunity. How did you get this? I'd love to go. Until she asked what film it was. <laughs> I admitted that it was a 2006 critically acclaimed film where an ogre uh, fights to protect his homeland from intruders. I stopped getting any texts back when I told her that the premiere was actually just on my sofa that Friday night. Which, let's be honest, that is so smooth. That is as smooth as it gets. Come on. She didn't think so. No response. That's okay, though. It's her loss. Because maybe she could have had some... Cheetos, flaming Hot, Smoky Ghost Pepper puffs as a snack, if she would have, so. So why don't you share your own ghosted story using hashtag Cheetos Flamin' Hot Ghosted, and you just might get some treats for your hopefully successful date night viewing party. Most gripping part to me from your book is that you and Will are no longer married? No, me and Will are not dating. Yeah, no, no oh, not. I said marriage. We had to figure out how to tell people. No. Okay, well, you guys never married, Jada. Now, for about seven years now, the whole industry's been obsessed with you and Will's marriage. Who? Will Will Smith? I don't know who that is. Just, you just talked about him. The father of your children, Jada. I don't have children. Jada, children aren't yours. That yeah. raises up so many questions Tupac that I now need to... alopecia. Okay, that seems like a pretty personal yeah. thing that you... Why would you share that? Because I want to. Nope, we're done. We're... So y'all are telling me my best guys got washed by four adult mutated ninja turtles? 
Is that what I'm hearing right now? But don't get mad at us. But they was actually teenage mutant. Why are you? Why are you? Gabriel, come see this. <laughs> yeah, what's up? I'm like, oh my god, what is that? Sleep paralysis. <laughs> I did it so that way we can communicate them without them being distracted by the rigmarole of waking life. Yeah, okay, so he can like still see and, and hear us, okay? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Huh. And this doesn't affect him negatively at all. <laughs> I think it's fine. Cool. Gabriel, new idea. Intrusive thoughts. Oh, you mean like giving a human a random good idea or something like that when they need it the most? Right? Yeah, like like two percent of them are gonna be that for sure. And the rest of them, absolute nonsense or extremely disturbing. Uh oh, yep, you're done. Okay, yeah, I don't know where I yeah. got the idea from. No, uh, and Michael, what if we made an ant a WWE star? Fighting is pretty dope. Like he's a really strong guy. Give him like eight arms, eight eyes, and like, ooh. what? He fights his opponents with sticky butt string. Yeah, you're actually gonna wanna lay off of eggs for a while. Research shows they're not that good for you, so. Mm, okay. Yeah, you're gonna need to eat more eggs. Studies show that they're part of a very healthy lifestyle, okay? What's up, bro? Yeah, come no, here. What's up, bro? No, come here. You want to do come something? Here, yeah, you want to no, do something? It's been a long time. Step come on, bro. I swear here. to God. I'm right here. You can't. Step up. Come close. I'm right here, dude. I'm right here. I'm right here. Come on. That's what I thought. You scared. Oh, you yeah, you scared. Right, you, right. you ain't finna touch me. You ain't finna touch me. This bump is not looking good. I need to figure this out. Okay, that is gonna be gargle wart. Gar gar gargle, gargle, what? Yeah, uh-huh, and the cure is that you need to get to eat a teaspoon of onions, it looks like. I don't think I have an onion. Let me, let me, uh... uh oh, wait, no, wait. Ah, sugar lump illness. Sugar, what is even that? What is even that? It's fatal. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? What do I do? What do we do? pressure in the fingers. I can do that. A simple massage. Amputation adequately releases the pressure. A what? Chop, chop, bro. Okay, okay, uh... Ooh. Yeah, yeah, but start with this. Start with the pinky, though. Mm -hmm. Wait, uh... Oh, it looks like you can have a video chat with a licensed healthcare provider from your phone with one medical through Prime. So no amputation. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep my finger. Oh, Lonnie, dude, look, they're sledding. Dude, that is sick. Oh, man. No. Nah. We don't have the time, you know? We, de we definitely cannot stop it. We had more time. <laughs> hey, uh, ha have you seen my sleep jeans? Your what? Yeah, my sleep jeans, the jeans I wear to sleep every night. Where are they? Now what makes you think I touch your sleep jeans? The same reason you touch every other thing in this house that doesn't belong to you? Because you're entitled, needy, and a neat freak, and I hate you? That's hurtful, and I'm not gonna help you find your jeans. If you don't help me find my jeans, I'm telling mother what you've been up to lately. I don't know what you mean, brother. I swear on the name of my jeans, you will come to me. If it is threatening, you will be do it. It will not be working upon me. I have no clouds in the game, nor skin. Good day. Up, 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 Americano. Does mother need to know? Well, you were last night, I <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, but you sound preposterous. I do recall you getting back in the driveway. What was it? Maybe, perhaps, 3.15 a.m. from, would it be, Suzanne's home? You play games, brother. <laughs> I don't even know why you like those silly, stinky old jeans. So you are aware of their existence, and you know exactly where they are. You defied me once, do it again, and Mother will have all the information she needs. They are no longer, I've thrown them away. But wait! I will purchase you another one. If you will. I demand a new pair by tonight at 7 post-meridian time. Not a moment later. Do you understand me? Yes. Good! And, and can you take me to school in the in the morning. Learn to drive. Yeah, Learn to drive. It's 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 Learn to drive. Learn to drive. Stick it's people on the road. Wheel. Steer it. Rather, it. I don't want to deal with it. Learn to drive. Learn to drive. Learn to drive. Yeah, Thank you. whatever. Learn to drive. So she's asking me why I didn't pay child support for the past six years. And I, because the kid's three. Kids yeah, don't three. In this economy. In this economy? I don't even pay rent in this economy. Why don't I pay child support? Oh, I think a woman should be able to kill one man a month. What's that? He has like a disease or something where you can't talk. Mm. He had a stutter. <laughs> when I was born, some of the doctors said I had the 
rib cage of a large cat. And some of the doctors said I had the heart of a lesbian. Sorry, God, my stepdad's in the hospital. Mm. Not really. He actually passed away a couple years ago. But <laughs> if you pet a dog and he don't walk off, God, I love that. God, I love that. Oh, make you want to kick a fat kid at Kmart. You know what I'm saying? Praise God, baby. And dear Lord, thank you for the bounty we've had here in the crops. Got me. You got me. For shame, Jebediah. I'm out. You got me. Whoops. See me. It's me. I'm out. Good. Gabriel, I've been thinking of a way to fix the socioeconomic problems the humans are facing. No, that's ambitious. I think it will be. It's a very simple solution that offers people of a certain demographic a platform. Why does it sound like you're trying to make effective change? What's going on? Yeah, so basically, I want just men to speak more frequently and louder and talk about things anything really as as if they are the um, only opinion that matters <sighs> I quit wait it's gonna be called a podcast I'm gonna call it podcasting podcasting that's a good name that's your solution I'm done Keep I'm out I'm done <laughs> Put on that new Andre 3000. I'm trying to hear what he's about. Like they said, it's just gonna be blue. Look, I mean, it's Andre 3000. Skip ahead. Let's skip ahead. Let's skip ahead a little bit. We just gonna skip ahead and see how it goes halfway through. Okay. I could do that. I could do I this. I actually played this on my recorder in fourth grade. See, here we got Jack in the Box. I would not eat these things cold. I don't know how much of a grilled chicken. It is juicy, though. The sauce pairing, not my favorite. We step into, we step into Burger King. It's controversial. Uh, cold, I would not do it. The barbecue sauce offers a, a pretty sweet flavor, not that great overall. And for the wild card, it does remind me of my childhood. Uh, and I think they used to have a crown shape and maybe dinosaur shape. But on up, we open up Chick-fil-A in the B tier. Pretty good. Uh, I have eaten a lot of cold Chick-fil-A nuggets. The barbecue sauce combo, God tier. Lemonade, God tier. It also reminds me of high school football, so it's in the B tier. Wendy's right next door. Let's not play games. Y'all see it. This one had its rise with the dollar menu. First time discovering it. Delicious. Sauce. It's, it's a whole smoky, sweet lounge of flavor. Love it. Would I eat it cold? I could, because that sauce makes up for it. Now it's time for the A tier, baby, and I think you know which one takes the cake. It's going to be McDonald's. I can eat these bad boys cold. I don't like to. The barbecue sauce. If I don't get the right barbecue sauce for these, I will not eat them, because that is how good they are. And also, that 3 a.m. crunch of chicken nuggets after your night out, and it's reliable. They're reliably delicious. This is my tier list. Let me know if you agree in the comments. Well, looks like I forgot to lock the door last night. <laughs> Is it an addiction? Is it an addiction? No, I don't think it's, I think it's an addiction. I think it does put me like it makes me happy, but no, it's not an addiction. Anybody want to tell me why they got a whole chicken coop now? I think they're wearing diapers. Some people have their childhood rooms rearranged. Mine was, but now there's also chickens. Wait, wait it is a, a xylophone. That chicken does not play music. Play hot cross buns. Um, mom, where do babies come from? Oh, 
Oh my God, Jesus. Oh, well, okay. Ah, Jesus, that's a great question. Go on, Mary. Where do babies come from? Okay. Gabriel, I believe it's time we fix the drought problem. Oh, oh, I, okay. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, we can uh, plant some different types of trees. We can start to slowly adjust the climate over time. We might even be able to get some policy changes that could really help affect... Ah! I have a better idea. Oh, no. It's called a hurricane, Gabriel. What is that? It can drop trillions of gallons of water in a day. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Here's a quick little story time about how I almost went to juvie <laughs> with my friend Anthony. For quick context, Anthony's white, we grew up in Florida, and there were these mansions along the beach. Not all of them were finished, a lot of them were under construction. So we would ride our bikes up to these under construction mansions, and then go walk around like, oh look, we're living the high life, Anthonius. So this one time we left our bikes at the foot of the driveway and trotted on up to this uh, unfinished mansion and started like playing around in the backyard. Very beautiful, you could see the bones of the home coming together. We're in the empty pool in the backyard, like looking out at the beach, it was amazing. Anthony starts like pulling on the back door, trying to get in and like go through the house. <laughs> However, I decide to look through like, there's glass on the back window of the home and I look through there and I see something terrible. The home is furnished. There's a refrigerator, a sofa, and a child's drawing pinned up on said refrigerator. The house was mostly under construction. People live in this house. Yes. Is that what's happening? 100%. And yeah. what gave you the confidence? Um, delusion. <laughs> Brody, how's that burger? No. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna come. Casey's here. Hey! How are you doing? You're good? Both gonna dry us out today, so. You have your time. A different brush. God. We have a rough kind of thing here. And I'm gonna refine it and then see if I can draw any of this. Casey hasn't even started. I don't. I I'm, I got. I'll, I'll. I have taken all this time to simply make a rough draft, and where you at? You want to see? Do no, you wanna... I don't want to see. You're... Now we're done. Okay. Here we go. I'm excited. It's not bad. I'm excited. <gasps> Yo! No way. Yeah. That's don't so look at. <laughs> I could have saved 15% or more on car insurance by switching the guy code. Did you see the new Barbie movie? Yeah, I did. What was that for? You didn't like it? No, of course I liked it. And I don't know if I say I didn't like it, you're gonna call, oh, I'm gonna be a racist or something, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not stupid. Wait, why would you be a racist? Because it's all like, you know, it's woke and stuff. They're talking about like, you know. Did you not see the movie? I fell asleep three minutes in. <laughs> Couldn't get behind all that pink. Am I right? It would be, you'd be like anti-feminist, not racist. I don't think there was a racist. Wasn't there a black president? Oh, okay, yeah, maybe I was, yeah. I guess you'd be both? Oh yeah, I'd be both. Okay. But if you could just get me the fly swatter, I could kill it very quickly. Oh God, lad, I don't know where it went. It got quiet on me. And I lost it. But did you think maybe the fly has feelings too? I don't know. I'm not like pro fly or anything. I just think we should maybe cons- Oh God! Very little fly. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's just me. <laughs> but looking good. Wait, I hear the bastard. No, Len, shut up, please. This, it sounds like a small man in a wingsuit. Is it? No, he's not in the bathroom. Maybe even downstairs. Can flies have a- do, do they have a concept of up and down stairs? They, no, they fly. They have to. Right? This is actually impossible because the- Oh, there he is! Uh, 
I missed. This isn't as easy as it looks. I'm just gonna try bargaining with it. There it is. Wait, there it is. There it is. Ah! Oh god. Yeah. Oh, not the play. Wait. The special of the day can be there's a fly in my soup. <laughs> no. Asking smart people dumb questions. Would you rather fight an angry cheetah or an angry pit bull in a fight and why? The pit bull. Oh, angry pit bull. Pit bull. Pit bull. Talk to the here. This big. Because it's slower. Whoa, what, what, what? I'm going down the street. It's a dark alley. Right. Cheetah. Oh, yeah. This big. All of a sudden, around the corner, comes either A, pit bull, or B, a cheetah. With the thing with the pit bull? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn to the side? And, like, I'm a pretty Caution. strong girl, you know? So exactly. Like, I... well, it shouldn't even be here. I have, I'm more familiar with a pit bull. Cheetah, you have to deal with the teeth. Yeah, the claws and the teeth. Kick it and run away. Nani? I don't know, I'm sad. I really like dogs. And this series is over now. <laughs> and you walk back into your room, there's a clone of yourself standing there. Don't smile like that yet. There's a clone of you standing there. What's the first thing you do with it? Kill it. Immediate. Fire. I know where my weapons are. Does it know where my weapons are? It's a clone of you, so yeah, it knows where your weapons are. So it's a perfect clone? Yes. It believes it's you, and the fight is going to result in both of you dead. I didn't say fight, I said kill. Nobody wins. L Listen, if it's me, if it's exactly me, it's a No one's going to win. You're both going to die. Then the world wins. Oh. You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. So quiet up and listen down. Nope, scratch that. Reverse it.